Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a concept known as packing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pass in, instead of this list of friends to this function, I wanna pass them all as strings separated by commas. So we have Bob, Josh, Austin. And we can just get rid of this altogether. We don't need this list anymore. But when we run this, it's not gonna work the way we expect. It says takes one positional argument, but three were given. So how can we change this function here such that it can take unlimited arguments? It's actually quite simple. All you have to do is put a capital A, AKA an asterisk for you fancy people. Run this and look at that. Hello, Bob. Hello, Josh. Hello, Austin. So that is how you create a function to take unlimited arguments. Throughout these videos, you learn different variations of invoking and different ways of creating the functions. You do not always have the ability to modify the function itself. You might just have access to invoking it. So it's good to know different ways of invoking the function as well and just be very versatile. So what we're gonna do in the next video is do another variation. And with that variation, I want to flip this around. What if we have a function that we're trying to use and this function is expecting numerous arguments, but we don't have numerous arguments, we actually just have a list. And we want to basically explode this list into a bunch of different values without having to do a bunch of indexing. That's what I'm gonna be showing you in the next video. And if that explanation made no sense, just stay tuned because I'm about to blow your mind. It's gonna be crazy. But in order to watch, you gotta hit that subscribe button.